What is in situ uh, stem cell prolotherapy or in situ bone marrow prolotherapy? That's what we do at Caring Medical. Caring Medical, being a comprehensive natural medicine clinic, believes that the body knows best. Here, I just want to give you an example of what in situ uh, means. Like, we all know that for a baby, the best milk's going to be breast milk. You know, like, in other words, the baby, when they suckle on the breast, they're, they're, they're getting uh, milk in its natural environment, right, from the mother. No matter how much modern medicine, no matter how good these pharmaceutical companies are to try to get formula milk healthy, it, you know as well as I do, it's never going to be equal to what normally naturally happens when the mother, you know, feeds the baby. Like, you know what I mean? It's never going to be as good because every time an infant suckles, the breast milk changes. I think most people don't realize that. Like in other words, if the baby is getting sick, the way the baby suckles is different, and then the breast milk will have more immune, uh, immune components so the baby doesn't get sick. So in other words, every person who gets bone marrow prolotherapy, they're their body's a little bit different. You know, it's a little bit different. You know, and modern medicine is always trying to do some patented procedure, you know, autologous chondrocyte implantation, or they're taking your cells out and they're putting it in a lab and they got some uh, patented procedure. You know, which, thank God for that in the sense that, you know, they do make discoveries with that, but I I'm just a firm believer, like Dr. Hack Hemwall before me, is that simple is best. Simple. Let's just keep it simple. And the body knows best. So in other words, if you take bone marrow out of a person and you inject it in situ, and in situ means in its natural environment. So if you've got a cartilage problem in your knee, in situ means we're going to do the whole procedure in your knee. That we're not going to take some cells out of your bone marrow, then harvest them for weeks or months over here, and then inject them. We're going to take your healthy bone marrow cells, then we're going to inject them into the knee, and your knee, in situ, in its natural environment, will do the healing that it wants. Like, in other words, your knee might need different cells than my knee. And it's not just cartilage cells, there's immune cells. Like prolotherapy is proliferative therapy, so it takes a lot of different kinds of cells to get healing. It, it isn't just cartilage cells. Like in other words, you have meniscus in there too, so you need meniscal cells also that need to be repaired. You know, you need synovial cells. Well, why do you need synovial cells? Well, synovial cells make the joint fluid. Like in other words, if, if you just take cartilage cells, let's inject a whole bunch of cartilage cells in there. Well, the cartilage cells and the cartilage is only nourished by the joint fluid. Maybe your knee needs some more joint fluid. So maybe you need replication of some synovial cells. See, the body knows best. So in other words, my knee, I have a, what I would consider a pretty healthy knee. I got a little bit of chondromalacia. So do I need 10 million you know, cartilage cells injected into my knee for healing? No. I mean, so take a little bit of bone marrow, inject it in there. Perhaps I just need a little bit of cartilage regeneration and I'll be fine. So in my knee, the, the, the body knows best, my body knows best. Hopefully it'll form a few cartilage cells, get a little bit of cartilage growth. Somebody else's knee, they don't have any joint fluid. Like in other words, they don't have a lot of synovial cells, which are the cells that make the joint fluid, the hyaluronic acid. So what I think happens is when I take bone marrow out of them and I inject into their knee, and their needs a lot of joint fluid, that their knee compared to my knee, because they need a bunch of joint fluid, that those stem cells and those other cells will then form, perhaps for them, a, a lot of synovial cells. And then those synovial cells will make joint fluid. And then you're like, well, Dr. Hauser, you don't have any proof of that. In one way, the person's right in saying that, because I'm not going to autopsy them and you know, sacrifice them and see what's going on in their knee. But me as a doctor, I can tell you, what does the patient tell me? Doc, I got less stiffness. Okay, so how do they have less stiffness? Could it be that their joint, they have more joint fluid? See, the thing is, when, you don't, when your joint's all constricted and you don't have joint fluid, it's hard for me to push three cc's of fluid in there. And then when they come there for their fourth or fifth visit, guess what? I can put 10 cc's of joint fluid, you know, bone marrow prolotherapy or other prolotherapy solution into their knee. So obviously something happened. And if you 
have less clicking, less grinding, less stiffness, less pain, at minimum, let's at least agree that there's been some repair on there. Do I really care like it's more joint fluid, it's more cartilage cells, it's more meniscus? I just, all you care about is you got back to your activity level and me as a doctor that I've met your expectations because that's one of the questions we ask, you know, especially when we do our studies. Did prolotherapy meet your expectations? And the resounding thing is yes, you know, in over 90% you know, the resounding thing that folks say is yes. And if on a first visit, if I think somebody's kind of an iffy case, you know, I'll tell them, you know, you're kind of an iffy case. So if somebody's an iffy case, in other words, you know, it's a guarded prognosis. I mean, the joint's so far gone, it's like, you know, I think, you know, they are a candidate for joint replacement, but they want to try prolotherapy. You know, then we have an agreement. We're going to try prolotherapy because in some instances, you know, it really, really still does a, a, a great work. But then, if the prognosis is guarded and we tried a few and you know it just didn't do anything then let's agree you know let's don't try any more then let's you know the person has to get a joint replacement so I'm not against joint replacements I'm not against orthopedic surgery it's just let's try conservative care because if we can eliminate 90 percent of orthopedic surgeries for our, uh, arthritis and other diagnosis that have to do with degeneration, degenerated meniscus, degenerated cartilage, then we should do so. We have an ethical obligation to do so. And I think the treatment that has the most promise for the future as far as eliminating orthopedic surgeries is prolotherapy. And I've tried to be one of the doctors to document that in the studies that we've published. You know, prolotherapy has about a 90% success rate when somebody's a good candidate for prolotherapy to eliminate the need for orthopedic surgery.